but I can't say I'm super sad about it. <laughs> I'm ready for summer. Yes, I agree, as I think a lot of people out there are as well, because it has just been frigid. And finally, we made it above freezing on Friday, and then yesterday we were in the upper 40s, and then today we're going to be near 40, or near 50, rather. So it's going to be a really nice afternoon. But we're having to contend with gusty winds. They could gust out of the south upwards of 25 to 30 miles an hour at times. This is all ahead of an approaching cold front. So our winds will be out of the south and then shifting out of the northwest by this afternoon. And then as we head into the work week, we are going to continue to see gusty conditions. So we have another storm system sliding through Wednesday night, which will bring us a chance for some showers and will drop our temperatures and our gusty conditions will linger throughout the week. So right now it's not too bad. Winds are starting to pick up. So we're seeing winds around 14 miles an hour here in the metro, 10 down in McAllister, 16 miles an hour in Miami and 19 miles miles an hour in Coffeyville, Kansas. So it is a little bit breezy out there, and we also are going to be dealing with some precipitation today. So this is the larger storm system up to the north of us. This is not going to be impacting us. We're just dealing with some patchy light drizzle this morning. So this is stretching from Claremore, Catoosa, so I-44 down to I-40, Wagner and Muskogee is picking up on some patchy drizzle, but then that is going to transition over to some light rain showers later on today. And that's also going to help to melt this white stuff. All that snow you see, yes, the warm temperatures and the rain. It's going to help to melt the rest of that away, and we are finally going to see a lot more of the green grass as we head into next week. Temperatures coming in at 43 degrees with a wind chill at 36. Winds out of the south southeast at 14, and our dew point is sitting at 37. So across the state, Temperatures are pretty much in the same at boat 39 in, in Bartlesville, 38 in Ponca City, 39 in Muskogee, and 40 degrees in Oklahoma City. But by this afternoon, we're going to top out to see highs in the upper 40s to low 50s. But we are dealing with the drizzle and then the light showers today. So it's mainly for Tulsa and then off to the east, stretching into northwest Arkansas. That is where we are thinking to see the greatest chance for some precipitation. So for today, we do have this quick moving system that will slide on out of here and then Monday and Tuesday were dry. Tuesday will actually be our warmest day this week as temperatures will be in the 60s and then Wednesday rolls around. We're still dry and warm, but then a cold front slides through Wednesday night, bringing in our next storm system that will just clip our area right now. It's looking like it'll stay to the south of us and we might just see a few showers, but then the next weather maker comes into play by next weekend. So this system is a larger system. As you can see, there might be some wintry precipitation up to the north of us and then rain for us here in Tulsa. So by lunchtime, we're expecting temperatures to be in the upper 40s. Spotty showers. It will be windy. Afternoon highs topping out near 50. And then this evening, 37 by 9 p.m. Chilly with partly cloudy skies. And our gradual warming trend is going to continue as we head into the work week. Warmest days on Tuesday. Then Wednesday, we slowly start to taper things off into the 40s and 50s. And we do bring in another round of rain. Amy.